Streams are really the lifeblood of Lake George. They provide more than 50% of the runoff and, and water that enters a lake. Despite the importance of streams, there was a gap due to the lack of data. In 2006, the fund saw a need to monitor the streams to have a better assessment of the watershed. There are over 50 sample sites, and they're adding more each year. The health of the streams are extremely important. There's over 140 streams that have been identified along the shorelines of Lake George. Don Kepler, an aquatic biologist, works as the Stream Assessment Project Director for the Lake George Waterkeeper. The streams can really influence the water quality within the lake. Monitoring the tributaries of a body of water the size of Lake George is wet and messy work. But checking the amount of sediment suspended in the water, chemical levels like pH, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, and water temperature provides Dawn with the clues she needs to determine the health of a stream. To measure flow, we use a uh, Marsh McBurney flow meter. To measure a variety of different chemical parameters, we use the YSI 556 multi-parameter instrument, which measures all those parameters at the same time. We use a turbidity meter to measure um, the amount of suspended sediment and organic matter in the stream. And then the fun really begins. We also look at biological parameters, specifically focusing on macroinvertebrate community composition analysis. In other words, we're hunting for bugs water bugs. In order to collect macroinvertebrates, I'm going to use this aquatic kick nut. So you just basically stand in front of the nut and you're going to lightly kick the bottom of the stream bed. And this just simply dislodges um, the macroinvertebrates from the rocks because they kind of cling on to the rocks. So after the sample time is over, you get all this debris that's trapped in the net. But as you can already see, there's some organisms moving around. See the stonefly, um, and there's another stonefly right You'd here. be surprised what you can learn from these bugs. The presence of stonefly and caddisfly means that this test site is healthy. But if we only find black fly larva, for example, this stream could be in distress. The Stream Assessment Project was initiated with three goals in mind. To maintain a procedure for the scientific assessment of streams in the Lake George watershed, to collect data relevant to the lake basin issues such as water quality protection, and to offer outreach programs to help the public better understand the important role that streams play in the overall ecology of the lake. Chris Nowitzki is the Lake George Waterkeeper. We would like to be able to tie the activities of humans on land and our land uses and the way we are impacting the land and tie that to the health of the stream, which there obviously ties right into the water quality of the lake itself. The data was being collected for information regarding the health of the watershed to measure the impacts to the watershed and provide input for the development of policies for water quality protection. If you would like to suggest a stream in the Lake George watershed that you believe should be added to the study or would like more information, contact Stream Assessment Project Director Don Kepler. You can download a copy of the entire report about the fund's stream assessment project and get more information on the website www.lakegeorgewaterkeeper.org. The Lake George Waterkeeper is a program of the Fund for Lake George. Look for more Focus on the Watershed videos on this site, www.funforlakegeorge.org.